shall talk about another type of instruments, which is called electrostatic instruments. Previously, you would uh, recall that we have talked about electrodynamic instruments, and then the name automatically suggests that there must be something called electrostatic instruments because there is something electrodynamic. So, why should there be not something called electrostatic? Okay. So, let us see the working principle of this instrument. This instrument uh, is this is basically a set of a parallel plate ca ca capacitor. Parallel plate variable capacitor. Okay. So it has a pair of parallel plates. Uh, which may be like this. Uh, so maybe I have one. plate here so this is one plate okay and see this is attached to a spindle which can rotate okay so this spindle can rotate on a bearing. So, this is bearing okay. and below this we have another plate uh, which is like this. And let me bring these two plates a bit closer. So, and this plate, so this is not attached to the spindle. So, this second plate is not attached to the spindle. So, this is okay. Let me erase it from here. So, this is not attached to the spindle. This may be attached to, to the frame of the instrument. So, this is fixed, this is movable and these two plates have can have some common overlapping area because this, this one can turn and this is fixed. Okay. So, uh, let me maybe, maybe I can uh, demonstrate you this. So, we may go to the uh, overhead camera. So, 
So let me take two plates. Let me make two plates, metallic plates. Although this is pap just paper now, but assume this is metal. And one of them is attached to a spindle like this. This can turn. And I have another plate which, which I hold in my hand and this one, this plate cannot turn. Okay? So, one plate can turn, another cannot turn. And as it turns, you see the overlapping area between them changes. Here we have maximum overlap, here no overlap okay? and here partial overlap. So, this is the arrangement. Okay? So, this is the arrangement. Okay. Now, what will happen if I apply say a voltage between these two between these two uh, plates? Okay. So, now this is positive and this is negative side. So, plus charge will accumulate here. and minus charge will accumulate here. So, this also acts like a parallel plate capacitor and then this plus and minus charges they will attract each other. So, therefore, this movable plate will try to come closer to this fixed plate due to attraction and what kind of attraction? This is electrostatic attraction between two charged plate, plates, electrostatic attraction. That is why this instrument is called electrostatic instrument. Okay? The previous instrument which we call electrodynamic instrument, there the force of attraction was between, uh, between a current carrying conduct, uh, conductor. So, there the charge was movable. Okay. So, that is why that was electrodynamic force, here it is electrostatic force. So, then due to this force, this movable plate will come closer to this fixed plate and if I now attach a spring as always to stop uh, or to hold back this, uh, this uh, movable plate, then depending on the force of attraction, the amount of movement will be determined. Okay. So, uh, this is called electrostatic instrument once again. Uh, if So, normally we would like to find out the equation or expression for torque. The idea here is once again very simple. The force or the torque because they are proportional to each other. So, the torque which is proportional to the electrostatic force is proportional to Q square plus Q minus Q. The force between them is proportional to these two charges is proportional to Q square and Q you know this is given by, uh, so you know that we know that the capacitance C is Q by V. So, we can write Q is equal to, so this is proportional to V square. Okay. Therefore, if this voltage is V, then the torque T d will be proportional to V square and the controlling torque spring torque T c as always is equal to K theta according to Hooke's law. So, here if we write T d is equal to some K 1 V square the proportionality constant is K 1 then we can equate 
td equal to tc at equilibrium that means when the two forces are equal and opposite cancelling each other so then we can write td equals k1 v square and tc equals k theta so theta will be k1 by k v square so this is proportional to v square okay so once again theta will indicate v square okay and or you can if if, if, if it is time varying voltage okay or v r a mesh square for ac time varying voltage okay okay now one last thing that i would like to mention here we will not prove it now is the fact that td we have already said is proportional to v square and this proportionality constant is given by d c d theta half half d c d theta so this is the proportionality constant multiplied by v square this is equal to td so you are not proving this expression now but let us understand what it means what this term d c d theta means so we know that there is so these two plates these two parallel plates act like a capacitor the two parallel plates act like a capacitor okay and you can find the expression of the capacitance uh, c this will be proportional to the overlapping area a multiplied by the dielectric constant of the medium divided by l l is the distance between the two plates where so so we write a is equal to overlapping area and l is the distance between the plates okay so this this overlapping area a changes as this uh, movable plate rotates so we can write a as a function of theta okay so a is a function of theta therefore c is also a function of theta as theta changes overlapping area between them changes and therefore capacitance also changes if overlap increases capacitance will increase if overlap decreases capacitance will decrease therefore c is a function of theta and therefore we can take a derivative of c with respect to theta and this is the proportionality constant in this expression okay so this is the meaning of this equation we haven't proved this equation in this video but we should understand the meaning of this expression and uh, uh, maybe we can do a very quick exercise so a small exercise uh, say assume uh, that 
that these are quarter circles okay both these plates are quarter circles so pl total plate area will be how much if this radius is r okay if this radius is r then this area will be pi r square by uh, Four. Okay, so this is the total area and overlap. So therefore, overlapping area will be. Um, so assume that. theta equal to 0 is the position where the plates do not overlap, their edges are uh, side by side ok. If that is the case, so like so theta equal to 0 is the position when we have one plate here and another plate here. So, exactly no overlap, zero overlap. So, and then say this is uh, fixed, this is movable and this this can move. So, this is the direction of theta and I measure theta equal to 0 from this position. So, if so, then the overlapping area can be written as uh, this total area multiplied by theta divided by pi by 2 90 degree because if it rotates by 90 degree, if this plate rotates by 90 degree, we will have full overlap. If it is 0 degree, we will have 0 overlap. Okay. So, then we can write this as this is theta r square divided by 2. Okay. So, therefore, now the capacitance C which is equal to overlapping area theta r square by 2 multiplied by the dielectric constant epsilon divided by the length or distance between the plates L. So, this will be C function of theta and then d c d theta this will be equal to. So, this is linear in terms of theta. So, we will have r square epsilon by 2 L. Okay. So, this is very simple. So, here we have talked about this equation and we have tried to understand this equation, but we have not yet proved this equation. Thank you.